What are the geological prospecting indications? Geological prospecting indications are observable clues or anomalies in the Earth's surface or subsurface that suggest the presence of valuable geological resources. These indications are critical for guiding geologists and exploration teams in their efforts to identify and evaluate potential mineral deposits, oil and gas reservoirs, or other economically significant subsurface materials. Here's a more detailed exploration of some common geological prospecting indications. Mineral alterations. Color changes. Changes in the color of rocks and soils can be indicative of mineral alterations. For example, the presence of iron oxides may create red or yellow staining, while other minerals can result in distinct color changes. Mineral zoning. Certain mineral alterations exhibit a zoning pattern, where different minerals are concentrated in specific zones around the central mineralization. This zoning can be a key indicator of the potential presence of ore bodies. Rock and Soil Geochemistry Anomalous geochemical values, elevated concentrations of specific elements in rock, soil, or water samples can indicate the presence of minerals or metals. Geochemical anomalies, such as high concentrations of gold, copper, or other economically valuable elements, are important indications during prospecting. Geophysical anomalies. Gravity anomalies. Variations in the Earth's gravitational field can suggest the presence of subsurface structures or density anomalies, which may be associated with mineral deposits or geological formations. Magnetic anomalies. Anomalies in the Earth's magnetic field can be caused by magnetic minerals associated with certain types of mineralization. Magnetic surveys can help identify subsurface structures and guide prospectors to potential deposits. Structural features Faults and folds, geological structures, such as faults and folds, can create favorable conditions for the concentration of minerals. Mineral deposits often form along these structures due to the movement and deformation of the Earth's crust. Veins and shear zones The presence of mineralized veins or shear zones can be strong indications of mineralization. These features may host economically significant deposits of metals such as gold, silver, or copper. Mineralogical assemblages Indicator minerals Certain minerals, known as indicator minerals, are associated with specific types of mineral deposits. The presence of these minerals in surface or subsurface samples can signal the potential for nearby mineralization. Topographic and morphological features. Landforms, certain landforms, such as Gossens, oxidized zones of mineral deposits, or mineralized outcrops, can be visible indicators of subsurface mineralization. Drainage patterns, changes in drainage patterns, such as anomalous stream sediment concentrations, can suggest the leaching of minerals from underlying rocks and guide prospectors to potential deposit locations. Geological Context Stratigraphic Relationships Understanding the stratigraphy of an area is crucial for interpreting the geological history and identifying potential mineral deposits within specific rock units. Hydrothermal Alterations Hydrothermal Alterations which result from the circulation of hot fluids through rocks, can cause changes in mineralogy and create conditions conducive to mineralization. Geological Mapping and Remote Sensing Geological Units and Structures Detailed geological mapping can reveal the distribution of different rock units and structures that may host mineral deposits. Remote Sensing Anomalies Analysis of satellite imagery and aerial photographs may reveal anomalies or patterns indicative of geological features associated with mineralization. Effective geological prospecting involves a systematic integration of these indications, often requiring a combination of fieldwork, laboratory analysis, and advanced technologies to evaluate the economic potential of identified resources. Prospectors and exploration teams carefully interpret these signs to make informed decisions about the viability of further exploration and resource development. What is prospecting and exploration in mining? Prospecting and exploration are critical phases in the mining industry that involve systematic and scientific processes to discover, evaluate, and delineate mineral deposits beneath the Earth's surface. 
These activities are essential for identifying economically viable resources, estimating their quantity and quality, and determining the feasibility of extracting them for commercial purposes. The prospecting and exploration stages typically encompass a series of interdisciplinary approaches, including geological, geophysical, geochemical, and remote sensing techniques. Prospecting Definition Prospecting is the initial stage in the mining life cycle and involves the search for indications of mineralization on the Earth's surface or in shallow subsurface layers. Methods Prospectors use geological mapping, soil sampling, rock chip sampling, and other surface exploration techniques to identify anomalies or signs of mineralization. This may also involve the examination of historical data, old mine workings, and local knowledge to pinpoint areas of interest. Goals The primary goal of prospecting is to narrow down prospective areas for more detailed exploration. Prospectors aim to identify surface expressions of mineral deposits, such as exposed or bodies, alteration zones, or mineralized veins. Exploration Definition Exploration is a more detailed and comprehensive phase that follows prospecting. It involves the systematic collection of data from both surface and subsurface sources to evaluate the potential of identified areas and quantify the extent of mineralization. Methods Geophysical surveys, various geophysical techniques, including seismic surveys, gravity measurements, magnetic surveys, and electromagnetic surveys, are employed to gather information about subsurface structures and potential mineral deposits. Drilling Core drilling and rotary drilling are commonly used to collect subsurface samples. Drilling provides detailed information about the composition, thickness, and depth of ore bodies, helping geologists assess the economic viability of extraction. Geochemical sampling, soil sampling, stream sediment sampling, and rock sampling help identify anomalies in the distribution of elements associated with mineralization. Geochemical data guide geologists in understanding the geochemical environment of the area. Remote sensing, satellite imagery and aerial photography aid in regional reconnaissance and identification of geological features, alterations, and anomalies that may indicate the presence of mineral deposits. Goals, the main objectives of exploration are to confirm the presence of economically significant mineral deposits, determine their size and grade, and provide sufficient data for resource estimation. The collected data guide decision-making regarding the potential development of a mine. Resource Estimation After exploration, geological and engineering data are used to estimate the quantity and quality of mineral resources. This involves creating geological models, calculating resource tonnages, and assessing the economic viability of extracting the minerals. Resource estimation incorporates factors such as geological continuity, grade distribution, and the spatial arrangement of mineralization. The results are classified into different categories based on confidence levels, such as measured, indicated, and inferred resources. Feasibility studies Once a promising mineral deposit is identified and its resources estimated, feasibility studies are conducted to evaluate the technical, economic, environmental, and social aspects of mining operations. Feasibility studies include detailed engineering designs, cost estimates, environmental impact assessments, and social impact assessments. These studies provide a comprehensive understanding of the project's viability and potential challenges. Mine Development If the feasibility studies yield positive results, the project moves into the mine development stage. This involves securing permits, acquiring necessary infrastructure, and initiating construction activities to establish mining operations. Development encompasses the construction of mine facilities, infrastructure for ore processing, waste management, and the establishment of a workforce. Prospecting and exploration play pivotal roles in the sustainable development of mineral resources. These phases require collaboration between geologists, geophysicists, geochemists, engineers, and environmental specialists to ensure a comprehensive understanding of the geological setting and to make informed decisions regarding the economic potential and environmental impact of mining projects. 
Successful prospecting and exploration lay the foundation for responsible and efficient mining operations, contributing to economic growth while minimizing environmental and social impacts. What is geological prospecting? Geological prospecting, also known as geological exploration or simply prospecting, is a multidisciplinary scientific process aimed at discovering and evaluating the Earth's subsurface for the presence of economically valuable mineral resources or other geological features. This field of study plays a crucial role in the exploration and exploitation of mineral deposits, oil and gas reservoirs, groundwater resources, and various geological hazards. The primary goal of geological prospecting is to locate and assess the distribution, composition, and economic potential of subsurface materials. This involves a combination of fieldwork, laboratory analysis, and the use of advanced technologies to gather and interpret geological, geophysical, geochemical, and remote sensing data. The process typically unfolds in several stages. Regional reconnaissance. In the initial phase, Geologists conduct a broad-scale survey of a region to identify areas with geological characteristics indicative of potential mineralization or other valuable resources. This may involve aerial surveys, satellite imagery analysis, and geological mapping. Detailed exploration – Once promising areas are identified, more detailed investigations take place. Geologists collect samples of rocks, soils, and minerals, examining them for signs of or deposits or hydrocarbon reservoirs. Various geophysical techniques, such as seismic surveys, gravity measurements, and magnetic surveys, are employed to gather subsurface information. Drilling. If preliminary investigations suggest economic potential, drilling may be employed to extract core samples from the Earth's crust. These samples provide detailed information on the geological structure and composition of the subsurface, helping geologists assess the viability of resource extraction. Laboratory analysis. Collected samples are subjected to detailed laboratory analysis to determine their mineral content, chemical composition, and physical properties. This information is crucial for evaluating the economic feasibility of exploiting the identified resources. Resource assessment. Based on the gathered data, geologists estimate the size, quality, and economic potential of the identified mineral deposits or other geological resources. This assessment guides decisions on whether further investment in exploration or development is warranted. Geological prospecting is not limited to the search for mineral resources, it also extends to environmental and engineering applications. Geologists involved in this field may study geological formations to assess potential hazards such as landslides, earthquakes, or subsidence. Additionally, prospecting is integral to the search for alternative energy sources, such as geothermal or renewable energy projects. In summary, geological prospecting is a comprehensive and systematic process that combines fieldwork, advanced technologies, and scientific analysis to discover, evaluate and exploit valuable subsurface resources and understand the Earth's dynamic processes. What are the geological prospecting methods? Geological prospecting employs a variety of methods to explore and assess the Earth's subsurface for the presence of valuable resources. These methods can be broadly categorized into geological, geophysical, geochemical, and remote sensing techniques. The integration of these diverse approaches allows geologists to gain a comprehensive understanding of the Earth's composition and structure. Here's a more detailed exploration of these methods. Geological mapping. Field-based geological mapping involves the on-site observation and recording of rock formations, structures, and mineral occurrences. Geologists traverse the landscape, collecting data on the distribution of different rock types, their relationships, and the overall geological context. This method provides the foundational information needed to identify areas with potential mineralization. Drilling Drilling is a fundamental method for obtaining subsurface samples. Core drilling involves extracting cylindrical rock cores from the earth, allowing geologists to study the composition and structure of the subsurface. Rotary drilling is commonly used in mineral exploration, 
while oil and gas exploration often involves more specialized drilling techniques. Remote sensing Remote sensing technologies, such as satellite imagery, aerial photography, and airborne sensors, provide a broader perspective of large areas. These tools help identify geological features, alterations, and anomalies that may indicate the presence of valuable resources. Remote sensing is particularly useful in regional reconnaissance and initial screening of large exploration areas. Geophysical methods Seismic surveys, seismic reflection and refraction surveys use controlled energy sources to generate seismic waves that travel through the subsurface. By measuring the time it takes for these waves to return to the surface, geophysicists can create detailed images of subsurface structures, including potential oil and gas reservoirs or mineral deposits. Gravity surveys, gravity measurements detect variations in the Earth's gravitational field caused by variations in density. Gravity surveys help identify subsurface structures, such as faults or density anomalies associated with mineral deposits. Magnetic surveys Magnetic surveys measure variations in the Earth's magnetic field caused by magnetic minerals in the subsurface. This method is valuable for identifying geological structures and mapping the distribution of magnetic minerals, which can be associated with certain types of mineral deposits. Geochemical sampling Geochemical methods involve the collection and analysis of surface and subsurface samples, such as rocks, soils, and water, to detect the presence of economically significant elements. Geochemical anomalies can guide prospectors to areas with potential mineralization. Techniques include soil sampling, stream sediment sampling, and rock chip sampling. Geochronology, geochronological methods, such as radiometric dating, help determine the age of rocks and minerals. Understanding the timing of geological events is crucial for reconstructing the geological history of an area and interpreting the formation of mineral deposits. Geophysical well logging, in the context of oil and gas exploration, well logging involves measuring physical properties of rocks in a borehole, providing information on lithology, porosity, and fluid content. This data assists in characterizing subsurface formations and evaluating reservoir potential. Electromagnetic surveys Electromagnetic methods involve measuring variations in the Earth's electromagnetic fields caused by subsurface conductivity. These surveys are valuable for detecting conductive minerals and assessing the potential for mineral deposits. By integrating these geological prospecting methods, Exploration teams can systematically evaluate large areas and make informed decisions about the presence, quality, and economic viability of subsurface resources. The combination of field observations, laboratory analyses, and advanced technologies enhances the accuracy and efficiency of geological prospecting efforts.